Hi, I just finished a little project I wanted to share with you. It's for my daughter for her birthday. It's an Altered Memory Dex Rolodex recipe box. Um, the Memory Dex has been around for a few years now, and Rolodex has been around forever, so I just decided to make this box for her, and I'll show you some of the elements I used to make up. Heidi Swap has a system, or did have a system. I think she's discontinuing it, but part of it is this box. However, I did not like the paper on it. I didn't like the white and gold. It just doesn't look good to me. So I spray painted mine black. I used chalkboard paint and I used a primer underneath to make sure everything stuck okay. I used some Tim Holtz feet and a little drawer pull type handle thing. And as you can see, everything stays in there nice and secure. And on the bottom I have the date that I completed the project for her. So I'll just send on her counter and keep her recipes all nice and neat. For the cards themselves, I used these Heidi Swap dies. So these are the fancy Memory Dex dies. I used the tabbed Memory Dex dies. And these Memory Dex holes are the same as the standard Rolodex holes. So you can use um, it in a standard Rolodex that doesn't have a top on it as well. And then this Sizzix Rolodex die. And then for the pieces that are just paper or journaling cards or just other elements that I have in there, I have this punch. I have one myself, but I bought this extra one to send with her. So in case she decides to add more cards or clippings or photographs, she can. And she has the way to punch the holes herself. As for the papers, a lot of it's just papers I had in my stash. There's not a specific set that I used. I wanted this to be kind of eclectic and fun and just random so it would be interesting and she would maybe get uh, a lot of use out of it and enjoy using it. So we will get started on the cards and I'll kind of give you a little background on several of the different elements and then I'll do a quick flip through of the rest of them and show you how, how it went together. So the first one is the birthday card I made her. Just four by four piece of paper around the corners. Fancy cut the edges, put a little flag on there and glued a couple elements on there. Now I will say that when you're making these and you're cutting them yourself and then you're using the punch, make sure you round the corners because for whatever reason squared corners seem to get hung up in here and the rounded corners just glide so much better. So make sure you're rounding your corners when you're doing it. This is a little image I found online. It's just a basic cooking conversion chart. She does a lot of baking. She's really good at cakes and cupcakes and she does a lot of orders for friends and other people that order from her for weddings and birthdays and anniversary special occasions. So I thought she might find this a little bit handy. So this is one of the Sizzix dies. They're a little bit smaller than the Heidi Swap ones. They're the same width, but they're just shorter. So, but it turned out really cute anyway. That's enough room for a small recipe on there. This is one of the Memory Dex dies from Heidi Swap. However, I changed up the top a little bit. I used a die that I had in my stash for a bag topper. And I just used that to change the top of it a little bit. Added a sticker and it's got a grid stamp on the back. This is just some um, paper I had in my stash. So it's just regular cardstock paper with the design on the front. White on the back. And then I just put some stickers on it, a little clip on it, and then she can write a recipe on there. There's plenty of room for recipes in this. This is one of the little 3x4 journaling cards I have in my stash. I have a nursery rhyme set and another set that I used a couple out of, and they're so cute. So the reason I went with the nursery rhyme is because it's got the plate and the spoon and the cow, and you know, that kind of stuff has to do with cooking. I just thought they were cute, so now that she might enjoy that. And it has a little Tim Holtz paper clip, so she needs to add something to it. This is some more paper I had out of my stash. Um, just rounded the corners, punched it. I like the daisies. This is a Bow Bunny die. There's a set of tab dies that's from Bow Bunny that I really like. And I just used scraps from other pieces of paper in here to make the tabs out of. Plenty of room for recipes. This is one of the pre-made elements from Heidi Swap. So it's just kind of decorative. But she could use it to clip something to. She had a recipe that she liked. She could just add it to this and be kind of interesting. This, I had this piece of paper, and she has a KitchenAid that she got from her fiancé a couple years ago for Christmas or her birthday, I can't remember. Anyway, she loves her mixer. She uses it all the time, so I thought she might enjoy the paper. And I had a little measuring cup on there. Then I have a recipe stamp, 
but it's made for a 4 by 6 card and so I just stamped it off the edge and it's missing part of it but I think it will still work okay for her. This is a little pocket I created so I folded a piece of paper in half, rounded the bottom corners, punched it with a punch and then um, used a border or an edge die or not die punch at the top and made a little um, tag to fit in there. So if she wants to stick the recipe down in there she can and have an ingredient list with it however she wants to work it. This is one of the 4x4 four four journaling cards like everyday life or something like that I think I can't remember exactly but they work rather nice for this to so the perfect size. The corners are already rounded on most of them and then I just punched it at the bottom. Plenty of room for a recipe on there. This is another one of the pre-made elements from Heidi Swap, which I like these. They add just a little bit of fun to the things behind them, so they're a transparency type of a thing with some foil on them. This one says, Cherish. <clears throat> Here's another one of those journaling cards, the little 3x4s. And then I added a photo to it of her and her fiancé. I have a little Instax printer, so I can go on Facebook or go on my phone, pick out the photos I want, and just print them into little pol Polaroids. And so then I just put them on here with paper clips, and I have several of those throughout this Rolodex for her. And then this is just one of those dies from the Memory Deck system, the tab dies. And I just uh, sewed on a little um, banner there, so she could slip something behind it if she needed to. And then just a grid stamp on the back. This is another one of the journaling cards. Just I liked the look of this one and then it's got lines on the back so plenty of room for recipe. This is just some cardstock I had and she likes purple so I just rounded the corners at the bottom. Fancy rounded the top and she can write on the back for her recipes. Again another one of the um, memory deck dies is out of the fancy set and then I sewed on a little banner and stamped the back. That stamp was kind of crooked, but oh well. Uh, this is one of the journaling cards. I don't know if you can tell. It has a little bit of gold foil and black and white, and then I put a little paper clip at the top. These little envelopes are part of the memory deck system, so she can put magazine clippings or newspaper clippings or recipes in here that she finds that she doesn't want to copy down. Um, she can just keep them in here, and that way she can pull them out whenever she needs them. I thought maybe we could add some um, little tag toppers or something up here so that she can you know note what it is but I'll let her decide what she wants to do on that she's pretty crafty too this is another one of those journal cards and I just like this one because the cow moo you know milk goes in a lot of recipes so I thought it was kind of fun she could put a recipe on there these are just some standard Rolodex cards got them at Goodwill and then I'll just do a flip through on the rest of this so you can kind of see them um, kind of know how they're made now. I'll kind of point out a few other things, but for the most part it's all similar. Just changed up the paper, maybe used a different kind of a punch at the top and went from there. So first one is just a 4x4 four four paper with a fancy punch at the top. This is one of those pre-made elements. Another one of the journaling cards. This is her dog, um, Ruby, her new dog. So she's not so little anymore, but she went and got groomed the other day and looked all pretty, so I printed that photo off for her and I clipped it to one of those little acetate sheets that came pre-made from the memory deck system. This is another little card. Here's some card stock I had in my stash and I added a sticker to it. And then I put a little clip at the top. Now these stickers that you're seeing are from various stickers, probably Recollections and Jolie's. I had bought a couple sets because I knew I was going to do a memory album for her only in a recipe style but I ended up doing this instead so I used them in here. This is one of those pre-made elements. Here's another one of those photos I printed for her and I used a um, bag topper die up here on a piece of 4x4 paper and punched the bottom so it's just cardstock I had. This is a recipe card I found online and I just resized it to work and left a little room at the bottom to put the punch so it wouldn't you know go through where the print was. Another one of those pre-made elements I have a photo attached to it and some more cardstock and another one of the bow bunny dies for the top for the tag topper or tab I guess is what it is not a tag topper. This is another journaling card recipe card there Another photo, that's her sister on one of those journaling cards. And I just used some of my planner 
paper clips that I had for this. Um, just did the banner a little different way this time so she can t tuck something in there. This is another one of those stickers and some of the paper I had at the house. Another one of those pre-made elements. There's a photo behind there for her. Here's another photo for her and another one of those journaling cards. So and then just use a little paper clip. I think I got this paper clip at Hobby Lobby probably. Here's one of those acetate sheets. I cut it down because this one wasn't the right size and I went ahead and rounded the corners and punched it. So it just looks kind of neat over the other prints. That is one of the pre-made journaling cards. Um, this is just some paper I had. I just thought it was kind of fun and did a little punch at the top and rounded the corners. These are some recipe cards I made in uh, PowerPoint or something. But I wasn't really happy with the way they turned out. I am sending them to her. If she wants to use them, great. If she doesn't, she can just throw them out. But I should have not put the border around the box and then just cut it out with one of my dies instead of doing it this way. Um, and on the back of these types, I usually did some kind of a stamp. So this one I had a little shaker stamp from Lawn Fawn, I think, and then put some washi tape on it to fancy it up a little bit. And this is another one of those journaling cards. I like the little pigs dancing. Um, here's another one of those pockets. I added a sticker and a tag. You just pull it out and add your recipe to it. Another one of those. Um, here's another photograph and I've attached it to one of those pre-made cutout elements. Some more Rolodex cards. Here's another pocket I made and I put a little sewn on tag on there so she can tuck something in there but she also has this so she can use that for recipes. This is a piece of paper I had in my stash, but it was pretty thin, so I had to back it with some other cardstock you can see. And then I just punched it. Uh, kind of get the idea. There's another journaling card. There's a photo attached to it for. This one is just some paper I had in my stash. And those are some more of those little stickers I had. Some more paper I had. Another journaling card. That's just one of those dies from the memory deck system. And then I sewed on a little flag there. Um, this is just a piece of paper I cut up, put a little sticker on it. This one is just a journaling card that was pre-made and I just punched the bottom. This is some paper I had in my stash and I kind of messed up my corner there but that's okay. And then added a sticker to it. Journaling card. And this is some paper I had in my stash that I just really like the paper so. And it's white on the background and then I used my We Are Memory Keepers typesetter typewriter and type love this recipe on it so I was gonna do that to more of them but I forgot I had it and didn't pull it out till almost the end so I did not do it and then this is some paper I had in my stash I really like the paper but again it was thin so I had to back it with cardstock but it'll work this is a photograph of her nieces and then it's on another one of those little journaling cards it's got a little pretty paper clip on it and this is one of the cutouts that came with the journaling cards and I just punched the bottom and stuck it in there this is some more of the paper I had in my stash. Used a sticker, just did some fancy corners. And some more paper I had in my stash. I just like the paper, so it's working out for me. Another one of those envelopes. Another one of those little acetate sheets that's pre made for this. Um, both of her dogs, Duke and Ruby. So, and then they're attached to a little journaling card. Um, another one of the die cuts. This is one of the Sizzix one. I added the pitch, picture of the mixer there. Um, here is another one of the die cuts. This is from the Memory Dex ones, the Heidi Swap ones. I just put a little tag element at the top and sewed it on. Journaling card. Um, another photograph. This is her nieces and her nephew. And put that on here on a little journaling card. And another recipe card. Now these recipe cards in the back are 4x6 recipe cards I found at I believe Hobby Lobby I think they're Paper Studio or something like that I don't remember but my I was going to fold them in half and stick them in but they just don't look as good folded in half so I just put them all in the back she can decide what she wants to do with them but they are nice size recipe cards they're just craft paper um, recipe cards and then I just rounded the corners and punched the bottom so they just fit in there nice and neat Okay, so that is it. That is the Memory Deck system um, Rolodex that I made for my daughter, the recipe box, and 
I hope she enjoys it and I hope you enjoyed the video and got some ideas and those creative juices are, are flowing. Happy crafting everyone.